Hello, Collective. Welcome to Collectively Chosen. This is Miss Callie coming to you with your sneak peek at the week. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, your comments, your subs. Thank you so much for your donations, your bookings. It's all greatly appreciated, okay? And I just hope you all are going to have a wonderful week, um, even though the energy is looking a bit, you know, odd. Uh oh, sorry about that. Um, I thought I took it out. Um, but your ancestors and guides are going to be in high protection mode, I feel like, um, this week for you. Um, <clears throat> I've been seeing other readings from other readers, and I see that the energy is kind of the same. Like, you have some people who are in some sort of energy of. Um, I feel like either doing some sort of witchcraft or something, okay? Um, but you're being, you're being, uh, protected here, all right? Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles, and then we have the Temperance. What does the collective need to know for this week, please, and thank you? We have the Chariot, the Nine of Wands. We have the four ones. And let's see. It comes back out. Okay. Ace of Swords. I'm also feeling like there's some sort of truth. That you're going to get this week but it's meant for you to get it um i see a lot of you are going to be spending a lot of time at home all right there could be an air sign here <coughs> excuse me gemini libra aquarian energy okay that could be trying to find out some information or spying on you um i did see in another deck three of cups um what was it? The Three of Cups. And I believe it was like the Seven of Swords. Or something like that. So, like I say, it, it's just, it's some energy of like trickery or something going on here. Okay. It's the energy that I'm getting with this here. Um, so, I feel like you're being asked to really like pay attention to what's going on. Let me have some oracle, please, for the collective for this week. In the reverse. So a love spell did not work. All right, this is someone who tries to come off like a nice guy, like they're unbothered. But somebody is upset because their manifestations are not coming in. All right. Um, this person, I feel like, is watching you move forward. A love spell backfired or it did not work. Okay. Um, and this person is very much so bothered because whatever they, if they've been trying to call you in, it has not been working thus far. And they're not happy about it is what I'm getting with this. Could be a masculine and a feminine or two masculines and a feminine. Take it how I resonate. We got the full car, Aries, Aquarius energy. All right, give me the chariot, please. Why is the chariot here? Clarify the chariot, the hierophant, okay? So, moving forward, stick it to your beliefs in something. God is helping you in this time to move forward. Some of you, there could be a new uh, job opportunity coming in. 
for you this week as well. You may end up hearing about a position. All right, I feel like Spirit is getting ready to possibly intervene on something for you. All right. Mm. Confirmation. Lord, here we go with the cards. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody here is <clears throat> I'm feeling like somebody here is kind of like in their head why is the eight of swords queen of swords here I don't know if you block someone as well Okay, somebody could be trying to block something dealing with your work. All right, and love. So somebody here, yeah, somebody here could have, could be trying to block. You could have a cancer or a Taurus here. You could have blocked these people or they've been blocked in some way, some way, shape or form. All right, um, I do feel like somebody here is either you try either you block them okay from being able to contact you at work or at home you set some sort of boundary here and i feel like you could have these people in their head yeah so with the page of swords here again so somebody here is definitely watching trying to see like did you block them because you want a new connection new relationship okay um this person is heartbroken somebody is just waiting waiting to see if there, there's gonna be some sort of like reach out like if you're gonna reach out to them yeah because you have people who are who are missing you these are lovers okay these are lovers that could be missing you all right these are past people this is past energy here yeah they want to, okay, so somebody here wants to reverse some sort of ending. <clears throat> somebody is also watching and seeing that if this somebody wanted to like backstab or betray you, it didn't happen. So something was blocked here. This could have been some sort of mind games or manipulation. Uh, your spirit team blocked it. Okay, look, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And so some of you, you may get some sort of money to be able to move into a new home or you're going to get some sort of offer possibly for a new home. I'm saying that as well this week. Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. All right, this could be for some sort of past, some sort of past deed or someone from the past. So this could be a past job for some of you, all right? Maybe you needed to take some sort of break from it or take some sort of rest. I feel like this may be one, something that you may want to, you know, think on before, you know, giving a final answer. Six of Cups. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. And then we have the Sun card. So there could be an... Um, Something that's coming in here. Could be a king of wands trying to block some sort of happiness. Or somebody could be standing up for you. Okay. Somebody could be standing up for you. I'm seeing that. Even at work. Like at a for even dealing with a work situation. Give me something on this king of wands. Yeah, the temperance. Some of you, this could be a past on loved one that's protecting you, a fire sign. Confirmation. All right, this person guided you to possibly walk away from a king of pentacles. All right, this was someone who was juggling juggling you or would have tried to juggle you this person this uh passed on loved one 
that watches over you. They um, they protected you. They gave you some sort of clarity. Or they're going to give you some sort of clarity. Yeah. The fool here, confirmation. The fool here. There's a new beginning you're going on. There's a new cycle you're entering in. Um, high priestess in the reverse. What's this? The high priestess in the reverse. High priestess in the reverse. The lovers. And the page of wands. There could be some sort of a secret that comes out, okay? Somebody may, um, <clears throat> somebody may be hoping that you don't use your intuition, or there's a lover that thinks they're you're not using your intuition, okay? Maybe you weren't at the at some time at some point in time. Thank you, confirmation. But this person was blocked though. Whatever this was, yeah, you didn't have clarity on a lover here, all right? But I feel like that clarity is coming in this week. I do with this Ace of Swords. Something is going to be made clear. Give me, uh, you're a badass being, okay? Hmm. All right. There's a king of cups that's losing some sort of money or finances here. All right. Um, somebody is in some sort of regret. What is this? Why is the ten of pentacles reversed? Okay. Page of wands, the justice. So you want to get some sort of... Um, mm, the magician. Give me one more. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. There could be a Virgo that may reach out to you. Okay. This person may want to start some sort of conflict. What is with this? This could be someone that you separated yourself from. All right. They're making some sort of plan on. Give me the four of swords. Nine of swords. You know, with the hermit. Virgo. Strong Virgo energy. Could be one to start some sort of conflict. All right. They could be leaving things. Like saying like harsh things. Trying to compete. This is someone who wants to compete with you. Then we have this King of Cups. So somebody here definitely, um, I just heard somebody sharing text messages. So I would just say, be careful what you are sharing via text. Yeah. Somebody's in their head, though, about separating from you. Somebody is, um, feeling some type of way. They could be seeing you as well as this Queen of Pentacles. Um, if it's a love situation, they could be seeing you as this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups energy. Um, they could feel like you're more so focused on your work, okay? Uh, see that there is a lot of... Um, you could have a lot on your plate. You could do a lot. Alright, so... Somebody here is trying to save some sort of money. All right. Somebody here, yeah. But some sort of... Yeah, somebody is trying to work on your finances. Like, somebody don't want to see you prosper when it comes to your finances. Yeah. But it's getting ready to come out. Somebody's going to reveal themselves. Want to reveal their thoughts, how they think about you, how they feel about you. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Ace of 
and the three of swords. So somebody here could be upset. Okay, I'm getting that you could have turned this person down sexually um, at some point. And going in the direction, Ace of Swords, what I'm telling is the truth. So you have um, somebody who's upset that you turned them down sexually. But somebody here wants to make some sort of amends here and offer you some, offer you a cut. All right, this is somebody that could strong water sign. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But somebody wants to gift you something. Um, I would say right about now with the energy that we've been getting, yeah, three of pentacles in the reverse. Um, I wouldn't take it. <laughs> and the five of swords, yeah, I wouldn't take it. I would really weigh the pros and cons, okay, and really think about this. Because this person is trying to bring some sort of tower into your life. And I feel like they feel like you rejected them. And so, yeah. Yeah, this person is not going to be telling you the truth about something. Confirmation. Something is going to be hidden. Something is hidden. This person is keeping some sort of secrets. They're strategizing in some way. This person is a liar. Somebody's upset because you don't want them. Like, I'm really being honest. This is a player type energy. This is somebody that's not consistent. They're in and out. Okay. But they're upset because you don't want them. I feel like this person didn't want you to listen to your intuition. Okay. Look, yeah. Ace of Swords in the reverse. We got the Emperor, the Page of Cups. With the Empress. The King of Swords, Judgment, yeah, the Devil and the Five of Pentacles with the Tower. This person wants to bring some sort of a Tower. Ace of Swords Reverse. What is this Ace of Swords Reverse? The World Reverse. Okay, so they feel like something is not over. But for you, it's it's not rocket science. For you, you've moved on. You're looking towards the future here. This person is determined that you're going to take some apology of theirs. It's like they feel like they want to make you forgive them and maybe you have forgiven them but you just don't want anything to do with them but this person feels like they're going to make you forgive them or they're going to try to manipulate the energies to get you to do so but with this star energy here yeah confirmation okay then we have the, the devil what is this about let's say the energy is just that uh yeah. Somebody's standing up for you. Somebody's standing up for you. We got the Hermit and the Empress. King of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. You're going to see things change. If you have been having some sort of hard time, you're getting ready to see changes. Hmm. There's a Virgo that's about to be codependent. Okay. Yeah, this person is going to or. It's a Virgo. I have Cancer here again. Somebody here is about to be in the Five of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. Somebody here is getting this person. Yeah. This person about to be in this Five of Pentacles. So if they were trying to stop your money or they've been trying to stop your money. And I feel like what this is is because like. 
okay, with them seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, this is somebody who they feel like you are you're good on your own. With the Queen of Pentacles, it's like you take care of your business, right? All right, because we're speaking from a love aspect. When I was talking about uh, the Queen of Cups, I mean, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and then the, that was about maybe like a family member or something, 2020, and then you just heard confirmation at bail. So, um, <clears throat> this person is really like pissed off because they feel like you act like you just don't care, okay? You act like you don't care about them. You act like you never cared. Like somebody, if at one point in time they were... Like, saying they was trying to make amends, but they was trying to play Mr. Nice Guy. You see where it said right here? Nice Guy, but it's in the reverse, okay? This person was trying to play Mr. Nice Guy, but the whole time, this person is not a nice person underneath. I feel like this person didn't want you to listen to your intuition, but at the same time, if you consider yourself to be a high priestess, very intuitive, especially with the Queen of Cups coming out as well, if you consider yourself to be... Um, intuitive this person they were unhappy because they already felt like you knew more about them than what you led on to is what I'm getting with this um, yeah this is somebody who has been I feel like been crushing on you for some time okay or they've had some sort of feelings for you for some time. But this is the type of person, though, like, emotionally, they're not, you know, they're, they're not on your level, I don't feel. I really don't. I really, truly don't. But they're determined to bring you some sort of offer. They're strategizing, okay, on how to bring you some sort of offer here. All right, this is the type of person, though, too, they make offers to multiple people. So this is like a player energy here, okay? Somebody here, they make offers to multiple people. They see multiple people. I feel like this person as well, they daydream and stuff about you. I do feel like some sort of like obsession type energy here as well. True. <laughs> mm -mm. See, yeah, this person wants you to, hurt, to carry some sort of burdens that they're carrying. Give me Mr. Nice Guy in the reverse. Yeah, what I tell you, Knight of Swords in the reverse. All right, so this person can have a reckless mouth, okay? They just say things they don't think before they speak. Yeah, what did I tell you? Some of you, there is a um, Queen of Wands here. So this person could have a whole nother person that they're dealing with here, okay? Somebody they could have a child with. Or they feel like they want to make a family with you, but you're not, you're rejecting their offer. Okay, you could be dealing with a, a family member as well. I'm also getting a family member, okay, that uh, feels like you kind of like curving them as well. This person could be struggling with finances. What is, what is the four of cups? Okay. Hmm. Somebody may ask you for money. Could be a friend. Somebody may ask you for money, make it seem like they're juggling, but they are not. Yeah. What is the Ace of Swords reverse? Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. Eight of Wands. Yeah, whoever this is, you're very guarded. Very guarded. Page of Cups. Like, I'm just getting like... Ooh, okay. 
and for a lot of you you really don't care too much right now about this person's feelings yeah you release this um confirmation you release this queen of swords yeah again you set some sort of a boundary here and it's causing some sort of a towel there's a towel in between yeah you and somebody here at all y'all not seeing eye to eye what is the tower there could be possibly someone else that maybe you have some sort of feelings for hmm. there could also be a couple here all right so somebody here could be drinking there's a lot going on here somebody here could be drinking tower we have gentlemen we have quenched three messages please metamorphosis all right so somebody feels like they've changed Divine Empress mirroring. So something about this makes, okay. Somebody here calls themselves trying to raise their vibration to match you. Okay, so they can come back towards you. Yes, look, apologies. But again, there are red flags that this person is trying to mask. They are thinking of you, but they know you are cautious, okay? Um, so, right, ooh, so, right now, they are observing you. I do feel like this person, you see and view them as toxic. They're trying to come in and balance something because this person is highly attracted to you. But they feel like in the end, you just end up walking away. Like, this person, I mean, the energy I'm getting with this is like somebody just knows flat out you don't want to be with them anymore but or you know you don't want to give something another try you don't want a relationship with this person you know you you've moved on you're closed off to whoever this is that's calling themselves trying to manifest you you see this person is deceptive you don't trust this person's energy okay and for a lot of you you feel like you've closed thank you you feel like you closed this cycle off with this person so for some of you i feel like you may end up getting annoyed at this person trying to come back towards you all right like i say this person is in some sort of wonderment like they're wishing i'm here wishing on a star okay for a new beginning this person wants to be a choice of you know they want to be a choice of yours but again deception union this person could be trying to get you in a union just to reject you and make you feel some sort of shame and trick you into something. So, I, look, stick to your guns because I feel like in the end you're going to be disappointed. Because I don't like this person's energy and I, I'm, I'm over it, <laughs> like, already. I don't like this person's energy. Their energy is tricky. It feels tricky. So, I see why you set whatever boundary you set with this person. Um, for a lot of you, this person is feeling abandoned. When they text you, you don't respond back. Yeah. But I'm telling you, they're going to try to come in like they're a gentleman here. Thank you, confirmation. They're going to try to come in like they're a gentleman. But this is not somebody who's nice. Um, as soon as they don't get their way, you will see another side of this person. Is the energy I'm getting with this. Yeah, you're being protected. What did I tell you? 
from the beginning of the reading, you're being protected. Some of you, like I said, you have somebody here who as well, if this is an outside person, there is someone who's on your side who is um, who is standing up for you. But I'm not going to lie to you. I don't feel like you trust this person either. We have shame. Somebody could be feeling ashamed and want to apologize to you. So somebody wants to apologize to you for the way that they treated you here. Somebody actually adores you is how they look at it. I feel like it's multiple energies here. But there's also a lot of mistrust here. Why is the world reverse? Discernment. Please use your discernment. Some of you are going to be getting messages and downloads. Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? bottled up emotions all right so somebody is lying they could be trying to play it off like they don't care or you know they're not tripping off the fact that you and them are not talking but that's a lie this person wants a reconciliation with you. yeah some of you you might be tempted but you may end up being unsatisfied with what you end up getting. So, um, um, confirmation. There's something about this person or this situation you don't want. And I feel like you've already told this person this. But I don't feel like this is the type of person they, they're not used, excuse me, they're not used to being told no. They feel like they get what they want when they want it. What does collective need to know? Double life. I will fight for this. Please don't leave me. You scare me. You got me walking on eggshells. My situation is complicated with him or her. The only thing on my mind is sex. Like I said, for some of you, this is someone you turned down and they're pissed off because they want to still have sex with you. I only have eyes for you. I'm in love with you. This is a whole gas lighter. This is somebody who likes, like I say, they will say what they have to say. I want you to do good, but not better than me. Okay, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> like, for real. I regret my actions towards you. Okay, what I tell you, I don't want a relationship right now. I'm still doing me. But they want to communicate with you. They just want to keep you. And then I tell you, I'm envious of your success. This is somebody, for real, for real. Like I say, they... Like I said, they see you do everything on your own. This is somebody who's wishing on you needing them. This person wants you to need them. They're used to be dealing with codependent relationships. And they, being as though you're not a codependent type of energy or a codependent type of person, this person is feeling like you don't need them. Like, you make this person feel really insecure. You really, truly do. And they're envious of your success. They want you to thank you confirmation. They want you to do good, but not better than them. And all this whole other shit, child. Let this motherfucker go. And they lead a double life. <laughs> Ain't no telling what the hell that is. <laughs> like, there's no telling what that is. What is double life? Will you be mine? Not living a double life. What is double life? What is double life? See, I'm sorry for what I said. I told you somebody here reckless on the mouth. I feel pressured. All right. Somebody could be trying to get custody of their child. Give me someone double life. Why don't you trust me? I'm in the process of separation, divorce. I watch and stalk your social media. The thought about, I thought about popping up and surprising you. Let's go into business together. Still in love with my ex. 
only thing on my mind is sex. I'm in love with you. So this person, they're still attached to a child, like I say, like a family dynamic or something like that. Um, yeah, this person, this person ain't ready for Jack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like they said, they said they're not ready for a relationship. They still doing them. So that's the one thing that they were honest about. But uh, collective, I say, baby, don't even waste your damn time. Because this right here is a waste of time. It'll be nothing but burden, headache, heartache. And it's no point. It's no point. You set that boundary. You set it for a reason. You were guided to set up boundaries. You knew that this person was a liar. All right. Whoever this is, you didn't trust. You don't trust this person. You know that they're a liar. This person, I feel like in one moment, they could have showed you who they were. Okay. They really could have showed you who they were. Like this, the type of person to me, like they play nice until they feel like they get what they want. But then as soon as they get what they want, that's when you see their true colors. Nah. And I feel like you done learned your lesson with that too. I'm going to say shit. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> what the fuck? So this person going to try to come and play nice with you this week is what I feel. Um... And they're gonna try to they gonna try to sell it to you real good. Whoever this is, they think they want hell of a salesman. This is somebody who really think they have the, the gift of gab. Like, but this is the type of person that they're used to dealing with codependent people. You weren't that, and they don't know how to. They didn't know how to deal with that. They didn't know how to take that. The only person you depend on is you and God. <laughs> okay, period. That's the only one you, you you depend on. You and God. But they feel like if your if your finances, if they can intervene, cut in on your money or wish some sort of downfall on your finances, that at some point you may have to come to them and ask them for help or ask them for something. Let's let's see what you got going on. Let's see. What's the outcome? This person ain't going to do nothing but betray you again. Ten of swords. Like I say, for a lot of you, they're coming in wanting to make some sort of offer. Thank you. Exactly. With the five of swords. Just so, okay. Being as though this person felt like you rejected them, the only reason they want to come back in and trying to get back with you is so that you they can try to get you to let your guard down. Hopefully, you're not listening to your intuition. You going off what they feeding you, and then when it, when you let your guard down, they're going to call themselves rejecting you. They want to be able to say that they rejected you. They're having an issue with the fact that you rejected them. That's what this boils down to. Emperor in the reverse, period. This motherfucker like ain't ready for you, baby. Motherfucker like ain't ready for you, ain't ready for nobody. They're just up at the, uh, upset at the fact that you rejected them. They feel like they need they look back. <laughs> Whatever this is, they feel like they need they look back. How dare you, collective, reject them? They get what they want. They that do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They that do. How dare you? Act like you don't want them. All right, let's see. What do you have for finances and career for the collective for this week? Confirmation. <laughs> so we have here, we have light bulb. All right, then I say new job. So there's a new job or new idea that's coming to you, some sort of inspiration here. All right, what is this? Why are you stuck together? Don't be doing that to my babies. All right, we have eggs, starting over, saving up resources, nesting. All right, so new opportunities, something in healthcare or insurance. All right, we have cutlery. 
business tools, food related, sole provider, more work. All right, so might got to put in a little bit more work. And then we have treasure, worry free finances, money in reserve, access, executive sales, planning, hidden talent. And then we have Buddha, life purpose, more than more than money, spiritual wealth, um, counselor being guided, divine path. So, um, I do feel like that there's some sort of new idea that you could come up with, new job that's coming up for you that I feel like is going to end up being lucrative for you, uh, collective. Let's see. Can you give us an outlook for the collective for this week and finance, please? All right. Nine of Wands on the edge. All right, it could be a lot. Like I say, you could just feel like you have a lot on your plate. All right, you got some more fight in you, collective. So whatever you've been working on, it seems like it's been a struggle. I feel like keep, just keep doing it. Clear messages, please. Yeah, see five of pentacles. Some of you, you could have had some sort of setback. You, like, you could have been furloughed. All right, we have the king of thoughts here. Some of you all could be masculine. Um, I said masculine. Mastering your masculine energy. All right, I feel like there is... Uh, so there's a king of swords that could be possibly... Um, that could have possibly lost a job or lost a contract. Okay, yeah, eight of eight of uh, wands in the reverse. Something's not moving for this person. Something's not moving for this person. Three of Swords and the Two of Swords. So this person, they could be heartbroken over the fact. Okay, so I ain't gonna lie to you. If this that same person that was in the reading, okay, who new career, who this? So this person could be trying to go in another direction, go into something different. All right, sorry, not sorry. So. Like I said, if this that same energy of uh somebody who remember I said you had somebody who they didn't want you, you know, they could have been trying to interfere in your finances. I feel like something done boomerang. Somebody here could be going on a new career path here. Three of wands in the reverse and the six of cups. See what I tell you? Something boomerang. Somebody could be wanting to go back to a lover because of finances. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, see? Five of Cups, Will of Fortune. Somebody is in regret. Because like I said, whatever somebody wanted for you, I feel like they are ex they're they're experiencing. So this person wanted you to lose out on money, lose out on funds. Yeah, you winning. And I don't feel like you, you know, you wish this on this person. I, yeah, this person, they wished it on you. This is a part of them, you know, and some sort of injustice that they did for you. Them thinking they was going to gaslight you. I can't make it up. So your love and finances. Um... And it could be a Libra. Your love and finances. Yeah, this person, they may have, they may be paying, using things off of their, you know, having to pay with their credit cards. Um, Yeah, Ace of Wands. Okay, I ain't gonna lie to you. This person may even ask you for a loan. Then I say somebody may come to you and ask you for some sort, ask you for a loan, ask you for some money. This person is not happy right now. 
in their finances because this is not your and i don't feel like this is your energy and if it is your energy i will you know you'll leave her i hope you ain't do no stuff like this and it don't boomerang back on you okay but it looks like something's gonna change they look like there's gonna be so somebody here may end up taking some sort of office job office position here And I'm keep getting this energy of like, this person is scared about something you know. Okay, yeah, we have the two. Okay, so this person may be manifesting, possibly asking you to, we saw that, let's go on a business together. So this person, I don't trust this person. And this person, what I don't like too, is like they invade your energy. Whoever this is, they invade your, your spiritual boundaries. I don't like it because it's like, I'm. why am I picking up on their energy? Because this, I don't feel like this is your energy. This person is very invasive. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. This is in front of me. They don't have the best intentions. I feel like somebody back is against the wall. Somebody back is against the wall. And it's like that energy. Yeah, the tower. This person's going through a tower. Um, and I feel like this person is upset. <laughs> they want you to be going through a tower too. Like, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this person's energy. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah, see, what did I tell you? This person evil eyes you and is backfiring. This person is hella jealous of you. And like I said, I feel like it's more so because, yeah, look, what did I tell you? Freeze. They want you to be stuck and stagnant and want you frozen. Okay? This person thinks that they can confuse you. Could be sending you spiritual attacks as well. What I tell you, love binding. This person, this is some. Do you got somebody that's this? And then we have binding here again. They don't want to see you succeed in your endeavors. That's why I say whatever this is, this done backfired. Whoever this is, it's backfired. They want to see you do good, but not better than them. I don't like this person. And at this point. Like I say, to me, I don't like what this is. They, they're invasive. Whoever this is, they're they're pushy and invasive. Cause we find we trying to find out about what your money, your finances is gonna look like this week. But what I'm feeling like too, with that protection, like I say, with you being um, being protected at this time, maybe your ancestors and guys don't want you, you know, want it to be known. You know what I mean? They don't want it to be known or want it to be said. <clears throat> Excuse me. Being as though this person watch. Shit, they could be watching readings. They could be getting readings. You know, it could be anything. But I don't... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And they know you don't trust them. That's the kicker. They know you don't trust them. They know you don't. And you have every right not to. Don't trust this asshole. Like I said, this is somebody that I feel like they impose on your spiritual boundaries. You need to make sure that you're saying that no one has permission to tap into your energy. Okay? You need to say that daily. Three, four times a day if you have to. Give me something for the collective, please. Hidden secrets. Careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all the facts. Aqua discernment. That came out again. All right. We have breaking modes. Break boundaries. Erase all identifications. 
Um, anything which fixes you permanently into one mode, new way, different, unique. Gateway of gifts. Keep doing what you're doing and your goodwill will come back to you tenfold, okay? Some of you with this middle of the road and wanted to come in the reverse, all right? So, I feel like you're in some sort of balance right now. Look at this communication. Be open to receiving messages right now. It's important to communicate clearly and honestly. I feel like that's for this person, all right? If they reach out to you this week, let this mofo know. Look, it's 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 nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. And I feel like that's going to be some sort of door to power for you. And then we have here divine vision. Get out of your own way. Discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. All right. Spiritual test. You're on the path to discover your spiritual gifts. So you may grow and evolve spiritually. Inner work. Awareness calling. So you are doing what you got to do. This person is going to test you. Yeah, look at this, wide open. The path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. No blocks, open path, yes. All right, look what I tell you, thwarted plan. So, sharpen and persevere. Sharpen your will and persevere. It will not cause any long-term negative consequences. All right, and then we have, um, at the bottom, we have wishes granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in the manifestation process. So, yeah. And cleverness, all right? Your wit is going to be very significant for you. What can you give, us a, give uh, collective advice with this person. All right, but no, this is center stage. You're not meant to be on the sidelines. Let your wishes and dreams come true. We have resurrection. Okay. Shake off the past and rise again. In balance and a commitment. Yeah, one last move. So I feel like this person is going to try to come back towards you. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if that was your reading or if it was if it was collective reading or if that was a Gemini reading. But it says something about somebody's planning. The one last move, all right? At the bottom, we have good gossip. Your reputation is very good at this time, or you're being talked about in a positive way. Reputation, image, well-known. All right, so collective. I just, like I say, whoever that person is, I just say, leave that fool where they are, baby. You <laughs> so serious. Mm -mm. I don't like their energy, not, not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't let your ego be in charge. The past is in the past. Prepare to be surprised. Nothing you do will go in vain. Examine your wounds and heal them. Stop thinking and let things happen. What's collective need to know this week? Find and follow your own North Star. Let your soul shine through you. Don't let your emotions distract you. One more. You can make something out of nothing. If you're thinking it is possible. Yeah. So let go of your past and write a new future. Create your own opportunities. And then we have let it go. Be careful who you listen to and be smart with your heart. Okay? Be careful who you listen to and be smart with your heart. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. And look before you leap. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you? 
If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Look before you leap. Sometimes what you want is not always good for you. You will understand when you fully experience it. your prophecies prophecies do you have for the collective please and thank you News of a pregnancy will come. Someone who you wouldn't expect to will make it known that they have feelings for you. Be careful of your business dealings for the next few weeks. There will soon be a transformation in your and a connection in your life. A soul bond you share will grow even deeper than before. A change of career, job will come to pass. This will benefit your overall future and long-term plans. Unfavorable news about a love interest will soon find you. You will soon go to an event and meet someone who will play a very important role in your life. An illness is surrounding you, but the outcome will be for the best. Bridges will soon be mended. An apology from someone close to you will come in creating the opportunity to make amends. A marriage will soon take place. At this time, you may find yourself feeling overwhelmed and confused about the direction you want to go in life. Within the next few months, you will find that you are being pushed out of your comfort zone by external forces in order to introduce and promote growth. Someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter. If you make room by clearing out the energy of another who is no longer suited for you and the experience that and the expectation that they will change. Create the change you desire. The loss of a loved one is inevitable. Spirit will send you supportive energies at this time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Be wary of someone you consider a close friend. Their intentions are not pure. What did I tell you? An unexpected guest means to cause trouble for you. You may find yourself overwhelmed with juggling priorities and dealing with many demands and responsibilities at this time. Okay. But you also, you will soon connect with new individuals and receive recognition for your talents and abilities. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, let me get y'all, see what y'all ancestors will want y'all to know. I don't like giving y'all messages like that. And then, you know what I mean? You ain't got nothing positive to work with. I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't going to do y'all like that. Sorry. This, this. I mean, I feel like overall, your week won't be what you allow it to be. You know what I mean? You just got to set firm boundaries with whoever these, this fool is. And other people, too. Because some of y'all, y'all have family members that may try to try you this week, too. But I just wasn't trying to get into a whole bunch of negativity. I'm really not. Like I say, the energy has been weird. And I'm not the only one who's been getting this energy. Like I said, I've seen other readings. And they're picking up the same energy, so... Go to our favorite place. It will be filled. Hold on. I will be there with you. I know you loved me. I loved you the same. There is freedom in a rebirth. I went very peacefully. We learned a car we learned important karmic lessons together. I am sending you signs so you may see feathers. I want you to be strong. 
you made the right decision. So something you did, or like I say, this is definitely you cutting this person off and going in the opposite direction of this person, you made the right decision, okay? What happened was not your fault. Prioritize goals. Know that I want this for you. So whatever it is that you're working on, know that your ancestors want it for you too. I didn't want to be sick anymore. I'm sorry. Oh. You have good news on the way. You could be seeing angel number 555. Okay. I helped you open your heart space. So some of you are, and I'm sending you songs. Okay. They're communicating with you. And they want you to connect with them during meditation. All right. They want you to know that they are okay and that they are happy. We have three, please. Wow, we are soulmates. <laughs> something about going near the water, like oceans or something like that. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Y'all are very much connected. And they have no more earthly worries. And you are never alone. They want you to know that. And you're They're always next to you. I don't care where you're standing. What you're doing. So be mindful of what you're doing. Because they right there with you. <laughs> okay? Alright? <laughs> be mindful of what you're doing. Because they right there with you. Hmm. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. Okay, so some of you could be holding on to guilt about something. I don't want you to. They just want you to know they didn't suffer and it was painless. All right. Any final messages for the collective? Stay focused. Do not give in to the drama around you. <coughs> Excuse me. Be sure to look at the situation from all perspectives before acting. This situational project serves a greater purpose, much bigger than you know. Act with integrity and follow your moral compass, even when you think no one else is looking. What I say, don't let perfectionist tendencies take over. It don't have to be perfect. Just do it. Okay. Don't have to be perfect. Just do it. Stay positive. In the midst of the chaos, honey, invest in updating and decorating your living or workspace. And then we have, don't believe everything you hear, do the research. Remember to show gratitude for your many blessings, large and small. Permission, didn't I say? Let the, let it be known. You give no one permission to tap in your energy without. Hold on, you you don't give anyone permission to tap into your energy. All right, Edge Walker. Some of you, uh, you may be thinking about wearing a crystal. We have wonder and curiosity. Oh, goodness, all the cars stuck together. 
And then we have here Mystic, okay? So, somebody is really curious, I feel like, about what it is you know about them. I told you, one particular person, you scared this person. Because they feel like you know more than what you let on. But that's what I have for you at your sneak peek at this week, Collective. I hope these messages help. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button if you feel comfortable or vulnerable enough to uh, comment and share your experience with others. It's always helpful, okay? Um, thank you again so much for your love and support, and I'll see you in your next read. Peace.